Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. On board the space station, the three members of Expedition 34 are more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time this morning. Commander Kevin Ford of NASA and Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Turelkin are all on board the station at this time. They've been there since October 25th when their Soyuz TMA-06M vehicle docked to the Russian Poisk module. Ford, Novitsky, and Turelkin have been alone at the station since half of their crew returned to Earth last month, but that won't be the case for much longer. One week from today, they'll be joined by the remainder of the Expedition 34 crew, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency, Tom Marshburn of NASA, and Roman Romaninko of Russia. Hadfield, Marshburn, and Romaninko are scheduled to launch on December 19th at 6.12 a.m. Central Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and they're already there in Kazakhstan awaiting their departure. In fact, their Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft was encapsulated in the upper stage of the Soyuz booster just today. In the meantime, Ford, Tarelkin, and Novitsky are staying busy while they wait. Ford worked with a couple of different experiments today, starting with the combustion integrated rack, which holds the fluids and combustion facility. Ford was replacing the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus in preparation for upcoming experiment work, and now he'll be spending most of his afternoon working with the SPHERES experiment, which today is going to involve using the SPHERES satellites controlled by a smartphone to carry out simulated surveys of the inside of the space station. On the Russian side of the station, Novitsky and Tarelkin are working on their own experiments, one of which uh, looks at human adaptation to life in macro microgravity, and another that uh, studies leak detection methods in space. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.